Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> We're back on the top 100s, baby. And... There was a Mohammed Rafi one that people wanted us to check out. So and we're I, back with it. I thought we'd do it. And as well, I thought tomorrow we would check out one of his live performances that we've never <laughs> checked out. So let's give it a watch. <laughs> He's like one of the most iconic voices in the whole of India, really. Yeah, these songs, this songs are so iconic. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Look at their hairs. These girls are it. Oh, I want to go back to the 60s so bad. Because he was the absolute king of the 60s and the 70s. Just look at the hair and makeup, girls. Whoa, that's a funky looking guitar. I'm glad he wasn't playing it. Fair play. I love that these videos are remastered so you can really take in all the color and like. Yeah. Okay, go back. I'm gonna learn that. <laughs> she's, she's pointing it out. What? Idem, idem, idem. He had such a long career, such a mental. The sound quality is phenomenal, though. I actually don't know if he's still making music. I have no idea. Honestly, I'm just in love with the styling, the hair, the makeup, the scarves. Isn't, isn't that... That's a song, mate. That is a great song. Da -da -da -da, yeah. <laughs> I can learn that. Tere mere sapane abe eke rang. Dangahe. Rangahe. That's what am I nice. saying, guys? What am I saying? I think that's game. Cool, 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 guys. Hey, that's a swear word, isn't it? Chan Chanda Do you know what I, I like, like about this? Do you know what I like about it? It's just they just sound very percussive, even though the vocals are very melodic. Yep. See this one? Just look at her hair. Can anyone be that beautiful? Girl, what the hell? It was also all these songs were probably recorded in one take. Yeah, live rooms as well. Ooh. I didn't know that in, in Bollywood made uh, blues. What in the hell? So I really like old stuff, That's just a very happy song. <laughs> <laughs> what a banger. We isn't haven't heard that, that before. Isn't that a, a, a endearing term? Mehebuba, <laughs> yeah. It's like my love. It's like Is piare it? or uh, epia. Okay, okay. I think. 
आज कल तेरे मेरे प्यार के चर्चे हर जबान पर सबको मालूम है और सबको खबर हो Nice dude where are you on this is fun watch this and like no be happy at all right Yeah, also definitely live room recording. What a good time, though. He had a very active career. Same cool. Oh, he's playing though. This guy is playing. Who is it? I don't know. He's faking it really damn well. <laughs> Also, a lot of his songs get remade later on. That's paso That's doble, bro. Very bro. good. It's oddly familiar. These things are oddly familiar. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It is hard to explain because obviously we never grew up watching Bollywood. But the sound. Right, maybe it's the equalization. Ah, also some of the rhythms are very were very popular as well in South America. China. So those rhythmic sections. Yeah, these rhythms are complicated, but they're so nice. You see? Banging, right? Absolutely banger. That sounds like a nursery rhyme, something you learn when you're young. Ramia Bastavaya. They, see, they remade this. Ah, they did. They did remake this That's later on. True. Uh, like last year or something. Oh, it is the SRK movie. That we were like, whoa, what a drop. Oh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> he does have like wonder in his eyes. Wow. I like this actor. This actor kid. Teenager, I don't know. Is he blind? Is that what we're saying? Could be. Could be deaf. No. Yeah, I think he's blind. He's out here charming everybody with his singing. I want to watch that movie. Dosti, Dosti. So, looks great. It's a good looks movie, good. guys. I, I don't know how popular uh, it would be. You the know, thing is, we, like, do have to take into consideration that, but I would watch it. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm down. In black and white, I would totally watch it. The only thing, though, is it gonna make me cry? I feel like this this would make me cry. Would it have subs? Uh, again, would it would could I'm I down. find we that? We could open video, a playlist like, on Future Friday Indian movies of like the old classics. No one's doing them because everyone just cares about like what's trendy. Let's and let's it's talk not like, about golden. And it's not like we've ever cared. No, we really never cared. Yeah, look at our channel. That's like four and a half thousand videos. <laughs> we just check out what you guys recommend and also what's like. Oh, well, that's that's interested. interesting. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. interesting. That's yeah. nice. Who's this person? They may not be popular, but that's in, you know what I mean. But we learn. Exactly. <laughs> Dusty, that looks great. A whole generation grew up with him, basically. Pretty much. Became adults listening to him. Carta. Sounds like a swear word. Bukarta, la. Bukarta, chupa chupa bukarta, la. That sounds like a fucking swear word. Chupa chupa bukarta, yeah. la. <laughs> We're so Para childish. Smile. Okay, continue. Ooh. Oh, I want to remake a video like that. Oh, but his voice there is so beautiful. What a great range. Yeah, I like the higher stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Great range. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's high range though. Sick. It's so warm though. He's got one of the most likable timbers. Well. Definitely, it's very comforting. <laughs> also, take that into consideration. The vocal uh, uh, counterpart used to be so high in yep. comparison to his warmth. This actor, he basically voiced. He was Muhammad the face of Muhammad Rafi, basically. <laughs> oh look, he's gone crazy. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, take us. I'm down to watch one See, he, he was always back. He comes back. I like that one. I feel like this is the playlist that you used to listen to when you were hanging out with your grandfather. It's so weird how these sounds are somewhat familiar to us. Right? See, the higher range is so gorgeous. It fits well with your forehead. It's not looking pretty. And it's funny how it doesn't matter the language. Ooh. You can just fucking you can feel, feel that. Bro. Oh, the wrist. Forget the musical the breakdown and I just feel. Man. Go go back to that song. <laughs> My heart is yours. Stop! The old time wrist. <laughs> wow, the freaking lighting, they got it so right in that shot. A little human with a big head. See, he was literally the face of Muhammad Rafi. Oh, good. We seem to really like compositions like those. Like, like Jagit Singh has some similar stuff. He's on the way lower range, but it's interesting to see a male voice with that ability with a high range used in euphoric moments, but also then be used in. A very melodic and ballad like like songs like they're they're like song poems i adore the the yeah the uh, the moments of elongated notes that just kind of reverberate throughout this the room ah it's yep. so beautifully done it's very typical of the era yeah i agree you see very long long phrases it's trauma right there. I've heard this before. Yeah, that's gorgeous. 
कभी हालात पे रोना बाबुल की दुआ She's such a roller coaster of emotions. It really is. Like you're up and you're down. Sheesh! Oh, I'm not saying that. Oh. I was going to say the outfit might be questionable, you know? But the wheels, bro. The wheels. He's fucking winning. No, Now, I love that. I'm I love interested that. on. Mohammed Rafi and when he was sort of at his peak so he he passed away in 1980s oh, okay. and he was born in 1924 my goodness gracious so incredibly enough he he must have seen some of the most pinnacle moments in Indian history in Bharat history I guess yeah he is considered to have been one of the greatest and most influential singers of the Indian subcontinent that is incredible I am f- rather curious rather curious on what his like most popular work was work with Lax Mikant Pairelal what is this one of the most famous uh, Rafi is one of their singers our oh, composers these were composers of the time okay uh, and which he collaborated with Asha Bosle Manare and uh, Lata Mangeshkar um I see. Mm-hmm. Plenty of movie directors. He did several private albums. Oh. So I think his peak is definitely between 60s, 70s uh, and early 80s. I think that's just, you know, you have maybe. That's what's interesting. They had some like royalty issues huh? towards the back end of his career. How, I old, how old is he by the time he dies? Uh, He must have been, what's, yeah, 50? Yeah, 55. Yeah, he couldn't have been that old. Yeah. Well, very wow. interesting. Let us know what you guys thought about it. And if your parents have any memories of growing up listening to this music, or perhaps feel... some of you watching, I presume, might be on this age range, you know, like our father's age. Um, You might be, you might have to be a little bit older like that to have it maybe in your teens. I think, I think this is definitely something because of how influential and how loved a lot of the songs are. I feel like even our generation probably grew up listening to them ah, so uh, through through like the grandparents like the records and radio i think this is like the golden era of bollywood does he still get played yeah. uh, obviously they're still they're still remaking some of his songs but <laughs> That's true. does he still get played uh, very intriguing let us know about it and uh, adios <laughs>